mean, and that's a hey, get. even if they're bots, some of the shots I hit, you can't take that away from me. Now, some of the shots that didn't hit me, you could probably, <laughs> you could attribute that to bot aim. But some of the shots I hit, ooh, ooh. The only thing I feel bad about is having a semi-auto sniper with a thermal. The thermal I mean, is so good. It's not fair. When the but guy hey, was hiding in the bushes, you could see little slivers of like indigo in between the grass. <laughs> um. Hey, but we were talking about uh. Before we we were too busy winning that game, we were talking about uh the effects of streaming on the front. Oh court yeah. Time. Well, I don't know. Like, here's the thing. I think like. Here, so I was going to make a tweet this weekend, but I didn't make it because it would have just said, you know, it, instead of taking it as a joke, I think there's some people not in our circle, but just in general, that would be like, you don't understand. But like, I took Friday off to help look after our daughter and to go on like, you know, like cool family, like excursion stuff. After a long weekend looking after a toddler, <laughs> a day looking after a toddler is harder than like the average streamer's work week. And I don't care if they're streaming like 90 hours a week. I've seen like what you do on the 90 hours a week of streaming. Like, you know, you're just, I, I can compare my energy level after like a five hour stream and my energy level after five hours of dad duty. And it's like night and day. Well, and first, I, I know it's hard to explain, but if you were to explain the energy expended when you're with a toddler, like how would you, how would you like normalize it? It's kind of like doing burpees. Like you're, you're a little tired, but you you stand up to go like you know, uh, hey, don't touch that. Hey, let's walk over here. Hey, cool. Like a, oh, look at that cute doggy. And then um, you sit down. You're like, oh, she's finally relaxed. And then she stands up again, and you've got to stand up and go into like a full dead sprint in like two seconds, and basically just repeat that um, for however long like your your duty is, like until she goes to her nap time or until she goes to bed. It's it's a little exhausting, like rewarding. Don't get me wrong, but like on a physical, like energy draining level, it's it's there for sure. And I'm trying to get down there. If I had a gun, I'd win this fight every day. It's okay. I got an I got a guy right on the base of my tower. I'm Mark. Okay, I'm trying to get to Dan. I'm trying. Oh, Dan's down. Mark, I'm marking the pink guy. Okay, we we got a problem here. This is a this is not a great start. I gotta play this one very coy. I apologize. No, no, take your time. They're both at the base. They got. Oh, there's a third party, Marty. I'm just moving the, the pink where you. There's a second pink guy too, just so you know. I think I think we're in trouble. Just being honest. Yeah, okay, if you gotta go, go. I got one. Nice down. The other one's right here. Oh, there's another. There's, there's a third party. Well, he's officially just wow. better than me. All right. It's kind of like, uh, you know, it's not to keep bringing it back. Oh, dude, he was wearing a Venom skin. That's a real guy, like, for sure. Um, Did you have a gun? You didn't have a good gun, though. Um, I mean, I was fighting. I killed two people. That's not bad. Take those. No, and I, I think it's, it's hard to compare, though, you know, because... I don't know. It's it's a hard thing to compare, like explaining what it's like to look after your kid. But I I don't know. It's 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 hard, and that's why I don't I don't talk too much about like parenting stuff because on stream because people who don't have kids don't like to hear that it's hard because it's like it's not part of their realm. Yeah, it's like you know they're like that's why I don't have kids, and that's fair enough. I respect that. But at the same time, I'm like, as someone who has done, you know, six, not recently, but as someone who has done 60 hour work weeks plus as a streamer, YouTuber, um, like, honestly, that's easier. <laughs> at least the way I did it was easier. <laughs> but uh, I, I think like uh, the subject of like streaming for like your, your health, I don't know. I just feel like. 
I think the way we do it is okay. Like, I don't feel like demonstrably dumber than uh, necessarily I was 10 years ago. And certainly wiser. But, you know, I do think that there's some people who use, like, uh, I mean, they, there's people who, like, go live, like, 14 hours a day and not eat. And think, like, that just doesn't have, like, a cumulative impact on your physical and mental health seems very foolish to me. Yeah, it's tough because the, the adage is the more you stream, the better you do. But, I mean, we've talked about this a hundred times. My thing is, like, I just, um, I don't know. It, it's just, a, it's a tough balance. And it, especially as, you know, like a family and stuff, it's like, you got to draw the line somewhere, you know? I think that's it, you know? You just got to pick what works for you. That's why, I mean, I told you in, like, the back channel, I've been saying no to, like, a lot of stuff. Not because they're not good opportunities, but just because I'm like, I'm just enjoying like my own life right now. Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm kind of in like a different position as well, because I went at it pretty hard for like, you know, eight years or something. Now I feel like I have a space to chill out a little bit, but like, I just want to play Super Auto Pets <laughs> and GeoGuessr. <laughs> Wait, so what's this? Uh, there's like a GeoGuessr BR. It, there's a BR, but the BR is not, like, what it's all about for me. The, it's the 1v1 duels. So here's, like, you know the meat and potatoes of GeoGuessr to begin yeah. with. Um, yeah. But the, uh, the thing that makes the duels great is when one person guesses, like, you both get the same location, you start in the same spot. When one person guesses, the other person only has 15 seconds to, to place their guess down, or they get zero points. So... It's so great to like soul read somebody and be like, okay, there's dotted white lines at the side of the road, um, but I don't see a, a red barn. So I'm going to guess that we're in Finland and you put down your guess in two seconds and then they're like, what, 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 what? Oh, man. You, you get, it's not just who has the best geography, but you get to like, you know, play the, the game of, you know, it's a little bit like poker, you know, you get to... You get to adjust to your, your risk tolerance. Let's, let's you, take these guys. You had me snoozing on Red Barn, but you had me pogging when you said poker. Like, <laughs> reading the person and then, you know, pl playing off their intel to maybe steal a win. Oh, uh, there's someone there. Where are you? Okay, I'm coming with you. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh, uh, there must be someone here. My game lagged. I'm just going to loot this thing real quick. It's going to give me the best gun we've ever seen. You know, downstairs. I think it's a... I don't know if that was a bot, but OOWU, here we go. Another one up the hill around here. Uh, they don't even know what's going to hit them. These are bots, man. Like, these standing still. <laughs> Silent Banana 17. Come on, oh, another one further down. That is Harley <laughs> Quinn, man. Come on. That's just an embarrassment. Hold on, I'm going to have a little chug slurp real quick. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, stay, stand on me, stand on me. Hey. <laughs> there, there was definitely a bit there, but I appreciate you holding <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You All know right. what? Oh, have at it, sir. You don't want it? Go ahead. I know that there's nothing that hits harder in a video game than a bolt action sniper headshot uh, notification. The hit marker is just like, it's pure serotonin. Yo, speaking of hit Mon Chan, so I'll hit you with this little bit of lore. So over, you know, over vacation, um, you, you know, my kids don't lo watch a lot of TV, but I'm like, it's vacation, you know, like, yeah. we're just, so I introduced them and myself to Pokemon the show okay yeah and i was blown away by the marketing genius of it oops <laughs> i just fell down so like right off the bat like i there's a couple like big points i didn't know one that and did you watch the show or no did you yeah, ever watch the show? i mean when i was like 10. yeah so like so they're all into it but right off the bat they show you Mew 1 and Mew 2, like the first frame of the show. You don't even realize what it is. So there's some like subtle foreshadowing. But then the fact that every, I didn't know it's every Pokemon, they don't speak. They just say their name over and over again. Yeah. Which makes sense why everyone knows it. And then at the end, there's like a Sesame Street quiz on every. Ah, uh, yeah. That. Maybe a little song too. Yeah. 
And it's like I'm I'm not saying my like now my kids like they'll make believe play Pokemon, but they know the attacks and stuff, and then like they've only watched a few episodes. Like how do you know this stuff? Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but it sounds like your kids are nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, is, boy, I, right here. Right, say good night. Oh, another one further down, right around there. I don't have the sniper. I'm just oh two actually. Knocked one. Right there. There, one tap for sure. Now those might be bots, but I gotta. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty banged up. I gotta get some sauce. Skirt. So did you like was it was that show just on like normal non-cable television? Yeah, I think it played on like uh you know Canadian TV. I think it played on yeah. YTV. Oh one very close. 82 uh, actually. Let's shoot caboose. Hold on. I'm uh I gotta get some sauce here. Okay. Knocked one. It's alright, I think I got him. Ooh, tough luck. Nicely done. So it was like one of those deals you come home from school and it's on and you watch it? Yeah. Mm. And Some then would kids talk about right it? Here, by the way? Thank you. So I, I was like an early adopter of Pokemon. Pokemon was not cool when I had first started watching it. So to protect my own street cred, I kind of had to like minimize my... Uh, the amount that I was into the show at the time. You weren't like rolling up into school saying, hey, did you see what Doug Trio did? Exactly. Uh, did it, there was like the me and like two other kids in my fifth grade class were like, we love this this pocket monsters thing. Then everybody else was like, you know, they were still going crazy for crazy bones. What's crazy bones? They're little plastic pieces of crap that you like. It's, it's like a pog kind of like you throw the crazy bones at crazy bones in order to if you knock them over, you get them. Huh. I don't want to brag, but I've got some pretty good crazy bones. I got Smiley. Smiley is uh, number two. This is the second crazy bone in the first season. Is that like a Canadian thing? I've never heard of that. No, I think they were pretty big in, in America, too, for like, you know, little kids and stuff. Are they just like skulls with faces on them? Yeah, they're bas they're like little plastic pieces of crap. <laughs> it's like a, you would get it in a vending machine for 25 cents, but because they had some hype behind them, you would buy like a pack of them for five bucks or something like that. So you had the option to get it from like a gum dispenser or a... No, a no, no. They, because of like the, the branding behind them, you could not get them from the gum dispenser. You had to buy the packs. That was the quality of the toys. Yes, the, the level of, of merchandise, <laughs> like the, the build quality. So would you slam them again? Like, how would you be able to take someone else's? You would you would stand it up. It would be, I don't know, it was probably about an inch tall. Uh, and then you would sit maybe like 10 feet away from one another, like cross-legged. And then you would throw a crazy bone at their crazy bone. And if you knocked it over, you got it. <laughs> it's the simplest game you could ever imagine. I had So I remember there's like two crazy bone stories I have. I had three, actually. And so get ready, because this is nonstop gas. But best day of my life when I was a kid, I went to Toys R Us. I bought the Wild Wild West soundtrack, which had my favorite song, Wild Wild West. And then I bought a pack of Crazy Bones, and I, season one, and I got Smiley, my boy. Okay. The second Crazy Bone ever, ever minted. Oh, uh, right in front of us. Deep breaths. Oh, tough luck. Keep that jumping. was a bot, unfortunately. Jumping. Keep jumping. <laughs> um, I'll take the, the shields just for a sec. Uh, then also, one of my friends and I used to play Crazy Bones until his mom talked to me and was like, you can't play Crazy Bones anymore because he keeps like getting upset when he loses his Crazy Bones. Like I was Ooh. that hardcore. And Ooh. then also, I remember that same friend, we bought uh, Crazy Bones on eBay in probably like the year, I don't know, 1998, 1999. But uh, careful, by the way, there's NPCs over here. You might not want to aggro them, is maybe the subtext there. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
The because uh, they they killed us last time, but uh, I got my crazy bone in the mail, and he uh, got scammed like old eBay style, where they just like never sent it, and they didn't have like any recourse for like refund requests and stuff like that. Okay. Well, which one did you get? I can't remember, but I remember he got he was trying to get Jaws, which is like uh is another season one that looks like a shark. So I mean you could tell that's popular, right? So it was a TV show too? No, I think it was just uh they were just little pieces of plastic. Wait, so when you were beating this kid at, at crazy bones and taking his, his crazy bones, like could you see him visibly getting upset and you're just like, I don't care? Yeah, but that's the game, you know? <laughs> he he would have taken my crazy bones too. Holy cow. What in. the heck is this? I feel like we need more of that in gaming. Like, you gotta, like, Magic the Gathering, but you lose your cards if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was, so Kate was like, she asked me how much a Black Lotus is now, right? And oh I, I told her it's, I don't know, like 25,000 or more or something like that. When I searched it on uh, Google, it shows like the, uh, the the website I went to shows you the decks that it's in and how much it would cost to buy those decks. The average price I would say of a deck that has a black lotus in it is like sixty thousand U.S. dollars. It's insane. It's crazy. Some of them are like ninety thousand. I got a new level of like respect for people that would walk into Friday Night Magic with their legacy deck. You got like a, a Ferrari in your pocket. <laughs> and it's just little pieces of paper. If you like w dry your hands uh, badly and then touch the card, you lose like 5K or something. It's, it's I will, crazy. I will say this, and I know that we've had different experiences with it, but sometimes like on vacation, like you need a little something to wind down and uh, you know, or a little dopamine receptacle. Cause that, you know, you. Yeah, oh, there's someone up on the hill over there. Um, yeah, I'm shooting them with my tank. With our I start, tank, sorry. I started playing Magic the Gathering Arena again. Yeah. And it's it's really well polished because it's been a couple years. And it's like, I only I think in like 50 games, I only played against one mill deck user. It's oh, oddly, let's go. And they um they instituted a like battle pass system. So it's, it's they've done a really nice job with it. Oh, boys down here too. I just like I get I get too frustrated, man. Like I can't. Oh, I get it. Do you see those guys right here? I do. I, I no longer have the ability to aim well though. I don't know. It's because my tank is like sorry, our tank. <laughs> this position straight. I think they tried to nuke us. Oh, they got their own tank. Yeah, yeah. Keep firing. Keep firing. I love this. I, I see him. I see him chilling down there. I love what you're doing here. It's so not fair the tank has thermal as well. I gotta hit the dude on top. Come on, baby. We have the Let's advantage. go. We, we, yeah, we broke them. Oh! oh! The live oh. oh, he broke. Good knock, good knock. There's one more on the left of him. See him. I think, yeah, I think, oh, well, that was good. Oh, there's one more in the house uh, that you just shot at. We we can loot first, maybe. Okay, so uh, he's at was the yeah, left corner of the house. I'm, I tagged him red. Sorry, mm -hmm. I got no. It's good. It's good. You loot. I'll cover. Oh, more shots coming for me. Yeah. 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 Right next to you. Good shooting, good shooting. I'm coming back. Right. I'm in a little bit of hurt here. We gotta watch those house people. Uh, ma, 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 ma. I, I got okay. a med kit if you need one. Oh, hello. Just keep an eye out in case they rush you. Gotcha. I'm right in front of you. I'm raising you as we speak. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna drop some stuff for you. Cover, good cover. Thank you. Oh, I should have taken these first. Good stuff, though. Good teamwork. All right. There's another big shield here if you needed to get back up. 
I'm just watching. I think those guys are fighting again. Okay. Just taking this med kit, then I'll be ready. They're jumping over to us. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. I should not have engaged here. I'm in a. I'm in a world of hurt. Give me one second. I'm with you. I'm. I. Okay. He I healed and I'm running. I'm. I'm just running. Okay. I'm spraying myself. I'm ready to go. I see you jumping. Yeah, they're on the hill. Just keep. Keep going. Keep going. We can escape and take it on our own terms. They got the hill. That's fine. Go ahead. Take the hill. Oh, dude, there's only a couple Martys left. Nine people? Okay. I think we can play this. Just on. Okay. You got They're a thermal? I uh, don't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind our circle position. I'm coming back to you. Okay, I'm not going to shoot then. I think here's the way I look at this from a game theory standpoint. Okay, these guys are, they're Russian. Pay attention to, to these pings right over here. Okay. Huh? I, I want them to get third party by houseboys first. Okay, I'm with you. Do you have spare shields? I have nothing, unfortunately. Mm, okay. You need sniper ammo? No, I'm good, I'm good. Hunter bolt action heavy sniper. We just waited. I'll, I'll keep an eye on the northeast, southeast houseboys kind of area. I think they're fighting. Or maybe it's just lightning. I don't know. Still chilling. They're, they're just holding the hill. That seems like a smart play. Okay. You have thermal, right? So you can... Yeah, I can I can see... For example, you... this, this ice is a little cold. So there's... Do you, you have any eyes on any there's predator? Two boys due north on top of the hill. Okay. I believe there's still a team right here inside of the house. That would give us... That's that's five remaining. Well, actually, that's less than five remaining. I so... I saw that. that guy just peeked on the hill. I think we got to wait for them to hopefully come to us. Okay. Let's see how the circle bounces. Play, play the third party if possible. It's not looking great, but... Dude, plus, we can therpy peek. You know, like, I see what they're doing. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> Chat, we got to prop it on this? Okay, we got to prop it. There is shooting. Over at the house. I can, I can see the... the Red, uh, they're they're heating up. They got high blood pressure. Okay. Yeah, the roof. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no shoots, right? No shoot, no shoot. Okay, we gotta move. Unfortunately, I think we just go. Huh? And maybe just try to become the caboose of the three-piece train. Yeah, like I don't even mind this right here. But we can't get... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's not peek, because I'm... Yeah, they're spotting us. Yeah. Let's loop a little bit. I think this is a one piece over here. So we could maybe follow him up the circle when he engages, shoot at the, the two people. Okay. Yeah, here he comes. He's going to encounter us. He's, like, right over there. We're going to have to take him. Okay. <laughs> they, they took him. That's fine. I'm, I've moved up by... Oh, they're, they're right here. They're real people. I'm down. You can All do right. it, Dan. It's just a couple of sniper shots. Let me get some eyes out there right on this tree. I can't ping. Uh, tall tree, light green leaves. They saw me. That was my. That was our advantage. Okay. Well. Oh, <laughs> I thought I got it. Pretty good, but. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even did the worm on us and everything, man. That's not bad, though. I, I don't. I wouldn't look at that and say we, we didn't play bad. Kill count. Kill count. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check. Chat. How many did we have? I got one more. Yeah, yeah. I only had seven kills that round. It was a little bit of light. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, super auto pass has, has been pogging, right? So like, anytime there's a uh, release, is it just like? Dopamine injection, or has but, it always been 10k Andy? For well, you? this is like this is the first pack since like November. 
This is the first that? pack that since the game got discovered. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have to buy them or are they free LC? This one will probably be five bucks, but it's free on the um, it's free on the test build for now while they uh, oh. balance it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't know what I was watching, but some people were like giving, saying like crediting you for finding the game, like Big Marty's. I think that's true. Yeah. I mean, like the, the way that I came to know Super Auto Pets was just from like browsing the Steam new releases and being like, oh, a free, because I played like Team Fight Tactics a very little bit and uh, I knew what auto battlers were. I saw a free auto battler with emojis. I was like, you know, let's give it an hour. Turns out it's uh, the greatest game that's ever been made. Who knew? <laughs> but, you know, I look forward to seeing you check out the new pack when you beat Elden Ring. Uh, <laughs> realistically, I'm thinking that might be... what is It's April now. I think you'd be done it by June, honestly. I don't... Honestly, here's, here's the plan. Tomorrow... Brad, I guess I, I, there's no way we don't beat Radon tomorrow. I, I just don't even fathom it. Um, three three streams of Radon, I think we're fine. And then from there, like once you thing is, once you beat a boss, then that's like the crescendo, right? So everything else is just easy from there. I will say, depending on the way that your build goes, after Radon, you might have a little difficulty lapse for a bit. Really? Yeah, I think I think after Radon, I had probably like a week of streams where I was beating bosses like regularly. Okay, you're saying it gets easier. Yeah, and yeah. then again towards the end of the game, it it picks up like a lot. Careful, this is like NPC heaven here. Okay, I've, I've made a terrible mistake with the drop location. It kind of looks like a Star Wars city, doesn't it? This is I don't know what sanctuary is. Is that isn't that like a DC thing? Hmm. I don't know. You're the Marvel guy. A uh, stream sniper has landed on top of me. He's now dead. What I feel bad. Did? His name was here for dancing. Oh. Hey, wait. Look, look up. Look up. Catch. I got something for you. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Throw him in the, throw him in the, in the drink. Hey, that's <laughs> Batman? He's, he's giving up hope. What do you think? Just, just keep tossing him. All wait, right. wait, 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 okay. You see the, this, at the base of this tree, right where that torch is? Yeah. Get ready to toss. I'm going to toss a grenade. You toss him there. Okay. Okay, go for it. Well, I think we got him. Don't worry about that guy. It's a bot. Welcome to the All real right. world, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, uh, you know what? Better they learn now, you know? Absolutely. You go against two gold skulls? Stream <laughs> snipe? You oh, one on me. Okay, coming. Right. He's dead. It was nice one of the work. easiest fights I've, I've ever been a part of, quite frankly. <laughs> I think there's a, I think there's a guy near us because the game lagged. Okay. Yeah, it, it's lagging like crazy. We must be surrounded. <laughs> what does this blowtorch do? I think you can repair a vehicle. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to start moving westward. Hey, did you ever try Lost Ark? No. <laughs> I, couldn't get, I couldn't get that out of my mouth. Absolutely not. There was not, there's not even like a little bit of you that's like, oh, let me just click some buttons for a while. Nope. Why not? Per, uh, well, permission to speak frankly. Yeah. I know there's like some people that are into it. Everybody that I watch play it, I was like, this is boring as hell. <laughs> like, the, I get, you know, there's some streams that. You go to it, you can tell that the streamer has their brain hooked up to a dopamine drip. Like, it's just fee force-feeding them dopamine nonstop. But the viewers are, like, not talking. That's, 
Not, not to be rude, but that was my experience watching people play Lost Ark. Was it, and also Tarkov for that matter. But it's, you know, the streamers are having a great time. Nothing wrong with that. But the viewers are like, there's like one viewer that's like, well, actually, if you applied this gem to your uh, Curus, you would actually get uh, lightning resist, which could make you farm this boss 3% uh, faster. But then like every other person in chat is just like, so what did you guys get up to today? <laughs> it's I, it's really I'd never played a game like that. Is it gotcha MMO? What do they call that kind of game? Oh, hold on. I think there was a dude that just went in here. Let's he was like flashing pink or something. Oh, maybe was that Thanos? Maybe it's an NPC. Oh, yeah. Don't, just don't shoot them until you know if they're <laughs> a real person. I don't want to fight off the whole town. All right. Is it is it gotcha? I, I didn't like you can buy loot boxes in that game. Up oh, behind us. Okay, I'm going for him. Okay. Knocked. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, another. Um, I don't know. They were from like over in this direction somewhere. Yep, on the beach, right near gotcha. the ping. Oh, and on the oh. hill above us. Broke their shield. Those call me in the morning. You stay on him. I got his buddy. I'm wrapping hill. Okay, I'm coming with you. He's almost dead. I, I headshot him up there. He's behind me now. On, on me. On me. He's going to tear. He's on this tree now. Rush him. He's, he's almost dead. Yeah, he's on that blue tree. Okay, let's go. Uh, right behind you. Don't don't tear behind you. I heard it after I committed to the the finger pull. I think that that's a winnable fight. We got. I got one more. I got one more. Literally the last one though. Mm, okay. okay. You can't get mad. You. I was already shooting, and you said don't tear. <laughs> We should have had him. We I don't think we should have taken a single shot over the course of that fight. Like I don't think oh, we I don't think we should have taken any damage. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I agree. Um, but yeah, no, Lost Ark was like it's it's fun to play, and then I got to a point where I'm like running around these map collecting DQ nuts. Yeah, and I'm like, there's like thousands of these in the game. Like, where does this end? And I think the point is that it doesn't. I, I honestly, I probably watched Apollo play it for like two hours total. I have no concept of what you do in that game at all. None. You just click buttons. Yeah, that's what it, I mean, it just looks, it's like Diablo 8 to me. Which is fine, there's nothing like wrong with it, but like, I've, I've felt zero FOMO at all. Plus, I've never really played like an MMO before, so I don't even Ever? know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have this conversation literally every time we play Fortnite. It's like, if you can go back to all the Fortnite episodes that we've ever recorded, um, and you'll be like, whoa, are you going to play New World? Uh, no, I've never played an MMO before, so I don't really get it. Never before? Are you going to play uh, Wildstar? No, I've never played an MMO before. Ever? And it lo just keep inserting like the, the new flavor of the month uh, MMO every time. I don't think, you know, like, I don't think you would like an MMO. I don't think so either. Because you're not really a LARPer. They just look like, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay doesn't look that fun to me. Which is, it, I'm not saying it's not fun, but I don't think it's for my style. Because it's kind of like, it's Cookie Clicker, right? But with, like, you know, fireballs. Yeah, but Cookie Clicker, at least you get, like, an instant dopamine. You know, MMO, there's, like, a payoff. But the to get the payoff, it's like... You have to plant the wheat seed, and then you have to water it. You know, it's like, we're a cookie clicker, you just get to eat it. Right. You know? But that's the way I feel about Super Auto Pets, too. Like, Super Auto Pets is, is like Hearthstone Battlegrounds, or like Teamfight Tactics, but they stripped away all of the stuff designed to make it complex, and then they just made a cookie clicker. There's like, you know, 60 animals in the game, they bump into each other. The end. <laughs> Play for 200 hours. <laughs> Watch out, there's a boy on top of the blue building there. 
Or at least there was. I am going There's a guy at the top of the green McDonald's right near you. Okay, I think I'm going to have to take this guy. I can hear him in my house. I'm, I'm out the house, though. Oh, yeah, he's on me. I'm running to you, hopefully. There's someone in the build. I'm, I'm, I'm I got a 2v1, though. I'm dead. Okay, I'm coming. I would... I mean, you could just get the card. Maybe get the card and roll. Okay. Uh. All right. One more? I think... We, yeah, I think we moved MMRs. From all yeah, the wins. I think we got a... We got to land on each other next. I, for, the, I'm getting back into like M, uh, BR psychology. Nothing that the line that the battle bus is on is an acceptable drop location for us. I'm, I'm with you. We got we, we to gotta, we gotta glide a little bit, loot, and then get thermals and take them. No, I, I do think like, I don't know, as things have evolved in gaming... Like, I'm just, it's got to be challenging and fun and simple. I think that's that's the formula. Yeah, at least I, for me. I'm 100% I'm in with you. I think peop, that's why I like Elden Ring or all the Souls games. Is like, I feel like those games are like the logical um, extension of NES arcade games. It's you and some enemies and a boss and it's hard, but you just learn the patterns and then you got it all figured out. If you want, you can play them like, you know, Dragon Age and be like, I'm fighting a fire boss. I'm going to equip my fire talisman and then he takes double damage against uh, Horfrost Stomp. So I'll equip Horfrost. Like, you could do that if you want, but you could also just be like, I'm just going to jump over the laser beams and then, you know, smack him with my, uh, my Rygar spinning shield 10 times and then he'll be dead. Yeah, I do think there's like there's simplicity. Like, yeah, it's a huge, massive game, but the gameplay loop is just find a way to beat boss. Yeah, and it's not trading time for uh, progression, if that makes sense. All right, I'm with you here. Real quick, how do you thank the bus driver? Uh, B. <laughs> Let's oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> Skrr. Three, two, probably last game for the next 365 right here. We'll it's see. been a good ride. We'll we probably played six. We got thirty percent. Yeah, it's been pretty good. And no joke, I like so I probably had like twenty five kills in our Fortnite session so far. I'm trying to think how many PUBG sessions you would have to go back for oh me. You, I, I was probably averaging like two kills per session when we were at the end of that game. Yeah, and With, per session. Session, we're playing seven, eight games minimum. Yeah, like four hours. I was getting like a kill every 120 minutes. And then imagine being like when we were playing fours and you die within the first three minutes. Oh my God. What were they I, thinking? How did we do that? It's just a different time. Oh man, I can't. That's really hard to fathom. All right, <laughs> I'm with you. Does PUBG still not have resing? Like, I guess maybe it's a design choice rather than like an oversight. Did, I wonder if um, players sold sold the game, like sold his interest. I don't know. Like he's a uh, he's working on that other game that three years ago we saw a preview of at the Game Awards. It was like a little forest, and that had no gameplay whatsoever. It was just like a a, a rainy day. I don't oh, remember there's that. A boy on me. Okay, I'm coming. Trying to get there as fast as possible. I don't know. That had to be a bot. <laughs> I didn't even give him a... I, after getting killed that last time, I was like, he's got to go. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a tank outside. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. Buy yeah. A let's get out of here. I don't. I think those are NPCs, but I think... Oh, really? Yeah, just, just try to stay away from the tank side. Ooh, we getting this ride. Oh. Oh, someone behind us. Yep. Uh, it's an NPC. Don't don't shoot, don't shoot. Right. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. You're driving, you're driving. Let's go. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. That might have been a real human being on the roof there, but that's okay. Running low on gas here. Wanna we're hit this tower? <laughs> sure, yeah. You're, it's, what the heck? I was running low on gas. They they drove it home on empty. 
Beautiful. I love that. Oh, right in front of us. We need to get somewhere safe, Ryan Geary. You, you have no guns, is my guess. Uh, I think I got one, but it's not. Ooh, pinata! Oh, crash into it. Send it. Oh, it moves! Oh! Okay. Here, let, let me break it. Yeah. What the heck? Yo, I got guns, so you can just loot it. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Uh, this direction. Yeah. A little bit more over uh, here. I think I'm going to try to take him so we can loot in peace. Okay. Knocked. It was a hater robot. Uh, another one coming uh, right around here. How's that for hit scan? Ooh, knocked. It's part of a different team. Uh, hard right. 155. Great intel. Yeah, Great intel. Hill. Yep. Ooh, tough luck. <laughs> All right, there's oh, some good man. sauce here. Gaming. <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing like it, man. All right, there's a... Uh... Are you coming back this way to, to yeah, get this charger? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna loot this guy uh, this guy I killed real quick. Then I'll be right there for the Fortnite keg. Okay. Take this then. Alright, nicely done. This this will be a goodie for us. This will be a goodie. We get a couple we get a couple thermals, it's over. <laughs> just feels good, you know? This this is how Fortnite was supposed to feel. Oh, uh, someone's coming up on us in some kind of vehicle. Watch out. Let's Behind just, us. Yeah, let's just bounce. Is that the tank? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a tank. There's no gas, right? You said there was no gas. Right, we're out. Go, go, go. <gasps> oh, daddy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Keep running. It's... I'm gonna hide. Uh -oh. I'm gonna hide inside of the ziggurat. That's it for me. Good luck. I'll, I'll wait for them to pass. I'll get your reboot card. Okay, Tommy guns. Rocky four, Rocky five. You think they see me? No, no chance. I'm just waiting until I don't hear <laughs> the tank anymore. Slip out the damn back. Ooh. Screwed. I, I still hear a tank, so I'm just going to chill for a second. Oh, nothing like a good therapy peak, man. No. Oh. Did I get it? Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. No, oh, no. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, why, why? No, 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 no tank, no tank, tank, oh, stop. Oh, my you. God. Right, everyone at, at, everyone at Tommy Guns in chat, and then everyone type slash ban. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was fun, Ryan Gary. We got two wins, you know? That tank is really good. That's, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. We, uh, you know, but when we won, we didn't need tanks. We did take a tank, uh, and I got probably like four kills with it. With with my uh, opponents having absolutely no recourse to possibly stop me. Well, it was fun. Uh, I don't know about you. I'm I'm good. I'm. I had a really good time. It was fun to catch up with you. But I think I'm good on Fortnite for another year. All right. How do you feel? I mean, I was having a good time, honestly. I think if we up our situational awareness, we got a real shot at. Uh, at going back to back to back. You wanna go one more? Of course. You're gonna sap. No, no, I'm I'm not even playing Super Auto Pets today. What are you playing? Geo Duels. Oh, yeah, then we got one more. If you're playing Sap, I would understand, but Geo Snooze, I got one more. <laughs> are you still in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
For I us, left. I get it. We're old, you know? It's hard to, like, the Zoomers are like, they change their whole life as soon as they watch one TV show, you know? They're like, oh, I'm gonna be an astronaut. Then they watch like one episode of The Great British Bake Off and they're like, I wanna open my own bakery someday. Then they watch like one episode of One Piece and they're like, I wanna be a space pirate and stuff like that. We're old, we're like Civil War era steamships. Like it takes a while for us to change direction. We gotta just be faster at the engagements. When we see any, if the engagement is screwed, we gotta get the hell out of there. We gotta keep the data points that have uh, affected us in the match so far and, and act upon those with alacrity. In my entire life, I've never heard the word alacrity. You never played uh, Warcraft 3? I did, but only until I realized it wasn't fun. <laughs> What's alacrity? It's just a, a $50 word for speed. Alacrity? Yeah. Hmm. The essence of having quickness. But lack, lacking an ick? I don't think it's a compound word. I think it's, um, it's like, I think Merlin invented it. Oh, speaking of, um, Merlin, if you ever want to watch a banger Disney movie. Okay, yeah. That will shut down Disney completely forever. <laughs> uh, watch The Black Cauldron. Oh, yeah, dude, I, uh, I'm familiar with The Black Cauldron. You're familiar with it? I, I don't I've think never seen it, but I, I'm aware of the fact that it almost uh, caused Disney Animation Studios to go bankrupt. Yeah, it's it's good. Like, it, it's an enjoyable experience. My thing was, though, and I haven't watched a video on it yet, but I want to. I need I want to understand how animate how that animation worked. Like, did they just draw each frame and I, then hit the record button on a camera for a second and change it? I honestly I have no idea. You know what I mean? I don't have the kind of patience for that kind of work, that's for sure. I just want to know how it was technically done. I mean, you can, that might, it must you be, yeah, you just like, you take a, a still photo of a, a frame of animation, click, spend another like three hours, uh, you know, drawing up the next frame, click, repeat that 24 times per second of, of how long the movie is. Something like that. Yeah. Sounds about right to me. But my thing is like, how did they, what did they use to record it? Did they just put it on a table and then just snap the recorder? I just don't understand what it is. It's gotta know, be, I'm right? Like, and then they know. just, you know, it's like a flip book, right? Yeah, but a flip book with like 1020 by 980p. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it was uh, 980p back then, maybe. But it's kind of like, I always look at those scenes and you can tell where this, what the background is. Yeah. And then the door handle, the door handle looks like fresh. So, you know, when the character comes on the screen, they're going to hit the door handle. Oh, yeah. Like a, the way you play like an FMV game. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But it was hand drawn. It's just wild to me that that's how the world is. Yeah, I could not uh, do that. I think I would lose my mind. <laughs> I'm not cut out for that kind of work. I could work in like the office for that for that animation studio. Do you think you would have been someone that like drank and smoked in the office? Mm, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Good, like I'm like a product of my time, right? So like, I my mom smoked when I grew up, and she was always like, "You should never smoke," and that was that for me. I was just like, you know, I don't even need to think about it anymore. So, you know, in the in the 60s, if if I had been around people and they had been like, hey, you should smoke, it's awesome. Who knows what I would have been like? Maybe I would have been like, light one up, brother. <laughs> you know, you're, you're a product of your environment to a to a large extent, right? Very much so. What do you think the Zeppelin is? Uh, I think it's, it's like a loot fountain, right? Mm. There, there's like a bunch of loot on top of it, I think. Right, I'm going to check this little... Diving board. Does your mom still smoke? Uh, no, she quit when I was in like the eighth grade. Mm. Cold turkey. I think she had like a. There was like a pharmaceutical aid that she was on. Mm -hmm. I don't remember all the details, but I do remember that when she quit smoking, she bought me a PS2, which was freaking pog. <laughs> what, what are you getting stuff for for her accomplishment? I, it beats me, but I wasn't complaining. 
She was like, hey, I quit smoking. I have a PS2. I was like, let's go. <laughs> Do you, are you going to say no to that? No. I don't think so. Maybe, you know, maybe what it was, that was like the cost of a week's worth of cigarettes. Ah, it might be. She's like, check it out. I can get something that will like ruin my son's academic career. <laughs> They're so far away. I can... Did you study a lot in school? Or are you just that guy? Did I, did I study a lot? Yeah. Uh, not in high school. It was kind of like unnecessary, but... You went to an easy school? Yeah, I, w I think that's true to some extent for sure. Ooh, this I mean, like, I studied for like exams, but I, for like a test, no, I just like, I mean, maybe this is like two DAE, but I just like didn't skip class and then did the homework. And then when the test comes, you know, they don't, they don't curve it for the people that were like, there doing the work. They curve it for the, the, the people who like, you know, skipped a class every two weeks and like didn't do the homework or put in the minimal effort possible so you just like did well just by showing up and, and doing what they asked you to do when you said stu study were you that guy or did homework were you that guy that did the homework in class so by the time you got home you didn't have any homework if if possible yeah or like in in, in 12th grade i had a, a spare period uh, i see a tank let's not go in that town okay Let, let's let's go over here i don't know how to mark the map there you go i don't know how we're gonna get down from here but like, why wouldn't you do the homework when you're, like, in the class? But I just felt like you, you would have, like, an extra motivation so you could do something you wanted to do at home. Yeah, exactly. Which was, you played Dry Bones? Was that your motivation? <laughs> Stuntman, uh, all the NHL games from that era. Oh, baby, Daniel. Mm. Wait, oh, hold on. I, oh, there's the keg right here. Just go ahead and oh, stand in this, in this fountain for a second. People might, that played Stuntman might not believe me, but I promise you it's true. I beat Stuntman in the 8th grade. Stuntman it, was on PC. Uh, I had the, the PS2 version for sure. Might have been on the PC for all I know. Tell about the game where you would design challenges and go through them. Uh, there was an element of that, but I think mm -hmm. you might be thinking of Flat Out. Mm -hmm. But I... Stuntman had six levels all themed around generic movies. Like one of them was like, uh, you got to drive like James Bond. One of them was like, you got to drive like the Dukes of Hazard. It was one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. But I swear to you, I, I beat it while listening to my clock radio, summer of eighth grade. But <laughs> <laughs> just in the, in the background all day, uh, Chris Martin going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, the nose man and the spinning clocks. And I'm just going, vroom, vroom. Oh, try again. Vroom. It, was a, it was a great summer. Ooh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got one. You want oh. me to carry it? Jeez, sure, if you can. Yeah. Smoke if you got them. Let's go. Just wanted to feel what it was like to. <laughs> Break something in this game has been a bit. Did you see uh, there's a new monkey? Ooh, snipe me. Ooh. See, there's a new monkey out game coming out. Uh, I did, yeah. You, you sound less than enthusiastic about it. That would be fair. I've never played any of the other monkey islands, and you know, point and click adventures just kind of a <laughs> genre that never really uh vibed with me. And then, like, further beyond that, I'm kind of like nostalgia poisoned, where like. Whenever people come up with a new idea, everybody's like, I sleep. And then they're like, well, what about this shit that you already liked like 25 years ago? We'll just like make it again. And everyone's like, wow, let's go. That's exactly what I want. Oh, is that you that messing me. around? Okay. That's me, yeah. <laughs> well, how are you nostalgia poisoned? I just, I'm, I'm, I just don't care that much about like old, like properties from like when I was a kid. So, like, if Stuntman came out for PS5, you wouldn't be pogged out of your gourd? I would not be pogged out of my gourd. Oh, I'm a chat. Let's call him out on this one. <laughs> uh, why? If you think he'd be pogged out of his gourd and if you think he's 
would be pogged out of his. I'm a sucker for other stuff. Like every time, you know, E3, God rest it, but whenever there was like a battle royale that looked like pure garbage announced at E3, everyone in chat is like, this looks like pure crap. I'm like, give it a chance. It might be awesome. Then we played 10 rounds of the Darwin Project, and I'm like, okay, you're right. That one maybe didn't quite hit the hit the spot. But nostalgia, I'm very cynical about. I mean, for all intents and purposes, Elden Ring is nostalgia. It, yeah, it's more recent. I mean, it's hard to say because I, I kind of feel like it's not really nostalgia for Dark Souls. Like, Dark Souls 3 is nostalgia for Dark Souls. Elden Ring is, like, fr from sof software's, like, logical progression from Dark Souls to where they're at now. Okay. Uh, counterpoint, you got me on that one. Because it's different. It's not, I mean, it's just, like, it's a logical extension. It's not like they're... I mean, here's what, what would make me um, cynical is if they were like, hey, we're remaking Dark Souls again. Like Dark Souls remastered, remastered. Yeah, but like this time it's not going to run on the Switch. This time it's going to come to PS5. Mm. Then, I, oh, ooh, crate, crate. I, see, my concern is after playing Elden Ring that the Souls games are going to feel not good because you're just, you can't jump and stuff. I think that's true, but also I don't want to play another Souls game until I forget what Elden Ring is like anyway. Because I'm, <laughs> it's so long. Your Elden pill? I think I'm, I'm, I'm Elden out for, for the time being. Thermal? No, not thermal. Are those birds in real life? <laughs> Are they in the game? I feel like I'm. Like, the birds sound so real, man. They do. I, I guess I just tuned them out. I'm not outside, so, like, I, they must be in the game. Is that a lot? What's going on in here? How's your uh, Palatin streak going? Uh, I think it's, it's probably at, like, 35 days in a row right now. It's pretty good. It was it was good, right? Yeah, I had some some good milestones. Like I haven't PB'd in a bit, but I had a month where I crossed ten thousand output total. So I is an average of like three thirty three a day times uh, thirty days in a row. Oh, your output is like your their score, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Isn't there something like to me? What gets me on plotting is the uh, is the badges. Well, uh, they, they do have a lot of them, for sure. I did a ride today. I got three badges for the same ride. Pretty good, right? I mean, I, but then they get, like, faded from your your profile so fast. Where, no, where is this guy? I don't know. I'm he's still in the like, top. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about him. He's, not, he's, he's, he's here. Coming? He's on the stairs. He's on the stairs. I'm coming. He's dead. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice, 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 nice. I don't know if I can get back up there now. The whole the whole thing blew up, man. Can you build me a ramp real quick? Son of a Hold on, I got an idea, I got an idea. Watch this. He's insane. Oh. You already have a sniper, right? Yeah, yeah. You can take that one. Holy cow. It's quiet right now. I kind of get annoyed by the badges, honestly. Really? Like, I did a 30-minute Silk Sonic ride today, okay? And then I got a badge. I got the Bronze April Activity Badge. I got a badge for participating in an artist series. And I got a badge for participating in an Asian and Pacific Islander heritage ride. And I was like, bro, that's like a badge every 10 minutes. What a fade, by the way, Dan. Look at that. Yeah, but deserved, though. I don't know. I was just kind of like, I was just vibing. <laughs> what is Silk Song, by the way? Silk, Silk Sonic is a, yeah. a super group consisting of Grammy award winning recording artists Bruno Mars and Anderson Pac. I didn't know that. They won record of the year this year at the at the Grammys. I don't know the difference between album of the year and uh, record of the year, but they won record of the year, whatever that means. Mm. 
And then I didn't, here's how much time I've been spending watching Sesame Street. They were like, <laughs> this guy won uh, album of the year. And I was like, I've never heard of him. And then uh, I looked at his album cover and I was like, oh, that's the guy who sings These Are the Heroes in Your Neighborhood on the Sesame Street episode. <laughs> Yes, you, these uh, are the heroes in your neighborhood. How come you didn't go to the Streamer Awards? You're nominated. I so like, first off, it's really annoying to travel uh, across the border right now. I think okay. as of April first, they made it so you don't have to have a, a a PCR test anymore, which is a little more convenient at least. But um, you know, traveling's still kind of hard. But then secondarily, like. I uh, was not invited, so <laughs> that also puts a damper on it. But I, I, I made some jokes about it. Then I wanted to make sure that uh, you know, because QT Cinderella, she put so much work into it. Good shooting, man. I wanted to make sure she didn't think that I was like trying to make fun of her by uh, like making the jokes over and over. So I made sure to check in and be like, hey, I was just having a laugh. Um, and she was like, no, that's fine. Honestly, I told uh, Ludwig to invite you, and he just forgot. And I'm like, you know, that's fine. And I, I mean yep. that sincerely, because, like, like, I wasn't offended. I was like, first off, I forget to reply to DMs, like, all the time. And then secondarily, it's no big loss, because I, I, I couldn't have really swung going anyway. So it's like a, it's a victimless uh, crime. Uh, there's a tank here. Let's just hide behind this shipping crate. Oh, okay. Try not to show this tank here. Or show yourself okay. to the tank. Do you have any extra sniper ammo? Yeah, I could drop some if you can get up here. Oh, there's, Dan, there's one coming to the house here. Okay, good pain. In red. He's, they're I'm going to the roof, I think. It's. I'll be too exposed jumping. Yeah, he's coming. Tum they're hiding inside of the porta potty. Yeah, take a mouthful of this. Let's go! What? Is it invincible? No way. There's one behind them as well. Oh, chat said it's a portal. Ah. Uh, okay, there's one more in the in the river. Now the tank is probably waiting for this crate to come down, and then they're gonna get out, and I'm gonna try to shoot them when they get out. One of them got out. Sorry. Hey, I'm not. I, I wouldn't take shots at the tank right now because it's a tank. I was there. A guy got out. I had to take it. That thing's about to blow. What about one of these? What about one of those? No. Oh! I hit one in the bush for 120. Right here. I got him in the bushy. You got him. Yeah. Let's go, dude. All right, settle, settle, settle. He's just knocked though. Where he is. I hit his friend for 120 outside of the tank. He's waiting for the crate right now. Okay, there's a bunch down by us uh, over here. Uh, go to the bushy if you can. The guy's in the bushy trying to trying to G hill his boy. Okay. I, I don't I don't have no thermals though. There's two in this house, Dan. Let's not tunnel vision on the tank, guys, just yet. Yeah. Nice. Backside of house. Broke shield on the one that's down there. You think I should rush, his, rush no, him? No, 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 no. You're doing great. Bush guys are back up. That's okay. Trying to climb up on top of this thing. Coming back up. I'm real low on ammo. Yeah, can you get to me and I'll drop you some? Yeah. How the heck did you get up there? There's they just take the zip line. Mm. Okay. Pleasey, 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 pleasey. Probably that way. in the other direction. <laughs> they're chasing you? They're on the zip line? Oh, they're, no, they're, no, no, you're okay, you're okay. They are on the zip line now. 
I had to reload. Okay, nice. knocked. I think he's gonna come up. I have to I have to try to shoot him as he comes up. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Nice work. <laughs> we got a great circle here. You need heals? I just need heals. I got I got shields though. Okay. Heal up and then just stay hidden and we, we got this one. You got any um, assault rifle ammo? Yeah, yeah. I fell. I fell all the way to the bottom. I'm alive. You need, you need a G hill? I'm. A, I didn't take any damage. Okay. I think I bounced on a uh, a tire and it sent me backwards. I'm gonna try to get back up. I see him. I need help if you can. The eyes on me. Faster, faster on me. Ammo. Nothing. There we go. He's healed to full now. Where is he? He's on the big. He's right here. Okay, okay. Maybe you could just get here and res me then. He's, get ready at the zip line just in case, but. Please, you peace. You're doing great. Don't sweat it. What do you need? G He's heals? here. No, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. Just, just cover me for a sec. Here he comes. Tip line behind us. We won. Let's go. What the hell? <laughs> I don't believe it. Mm. Oh, oh. We, we bumbled that ending. We bumbled it. It was bumbled. <laughs> How did this happen? How many eliminations did you have? I have five eliminations. That was a good one. How many eliminations did you have? Dose. Wow, so it's a low kill game. We only had seven kills. It was pretty good.